Hi folks, this is Dr. Don. I want to spend a few minutes giving you a overview of the study plan tool in my stat lab. I noticed after talking about this with another student that the study plan wasn't visible in the student view and I've corrected that so now when you go into my stat lab this is the student view I signed up as a, a temp student so I could see what you see you will see a link there that's called study plan and this is an optional I want to say again optional area for you uh, to use if you want to get more practice it's a it's a pretty good system when you first start, like I have here, I really haven't done anything in the course, so it doesn't really have many recommendations for me. I, I went through and took a couple of quizzes, and so it's given me some recommendations. But as you do work in my stat lab, it'll start getting smarter and give you recommendations on, on what to do. But right now, you can click on all chapters, and these are all the chapters in the book, and then you can click on... Uh, different chapters and headache and topics there and then click on those and then you can take a little you know training quizzes work some additional problems to get you more practice and none of this counts toward a grade but what it does do um, study plan will start tracking how many they call them mastery points as you work through these additional assignments you'll get points for you know, completing them, and it'll show you how much you have to do. And I've got, obviously, I've done nothing yet, so I've got 206 possibilities there. But it's it's a very useful tool. You can get started a couple of ways. You know, when you go to your quizzes and tests, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see all of these sample tests. These are pre-test, uh, practice pre-tests, practice review quizzes, practice post-tests. All of these things will give you more practice uh, on the material in each of the chapters. And as you do these things, it'll start building your study plan, things that you seem to be struggling with and will help give you guidance on how to go back and, and get more practice. So this, as I said, it's, it's, it's really a very smart tool. I wish we had had it available when, when you first started. One reason I think they hid that was that some students assume they have to do the study plan, and that's not true. Study plan and all the recommendations are totally voluntary. They're there to help you if you have time and want more practice, but you don't have to do any of that. So I hope this quick overview helps.